In this video, we're going to do a number theory question. If p and p squared plus 2 are both prime, show that p cubed plus 2 is prime. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Okay, so p is prime means that p is an integer bigger than or equal to 2. And we have another property that 1 divides p and p divides itself. So the 1 divides p is pretty obvious for any number especially integers. Okay, so let's look at some primes. So P will be on the set of, so two, three, five, seven, 11, and so on. 13 would be the next one after that, and then 17, etc. Okay, so let's look at P equals two first. So this will be, so we have if P and P squared plus two are both prime. Well, there are only a certain amount of primes that actually have this attribute. So let's show it for those primes, and then we'll show that if p squared plus 2 is not prime from p, then we finish the question. Okay, so p equals 2. We get p squared plus 2 equals, so that would be 6, which is not prime. It's not on the list. p equals 3. We'll get p squared plus 2. This is 9 plus 2 is 11, which works. So now let's check p cubed plus 2. And by the question, it obviously should work. 3 cubed is 27 plus 2 is 29, so it is on the list of primes. So let's check p greater than 3. Okay, so now we're going to work in mod 3. We're basically going to show that every prime after 3, so 5, 7, 11, will give you a multiple of 3. So what does mod 3 mean? So a is congruent to b mod n, but we're just going to say mod 3 if a minus b equals a multiple of 3, so 3 times k, where k is an integer. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say p is congruent to question mark mod 3 for p. Instead of p congruent to, we can just say p cubed plus 2. Or p squared plus 2, sorry. It's congruent to what mod 3 for p greater than 3. So p equals 5. We'll have... 5 squared plus 2 is 27, which is congruent to 0. Mod 3, p equals 7. We'll get 7 squared plus 2, which is 49 plus 2 is 51, which is 3 times 17, right? Yes. So this would be 0 mod 3. It's a multiple. And you can check for all of them. Basically, you get p squared plus 2 is congruent to 0 mod 3 when p is a prime greater than 3. This means that p squared plus 2 is not prime. So that finishes the question because there are no more primes where this is possible. p equals 3 is the only case. And that is the end of the video. Hope you liked it.